Now, they are the iconic species of the Antarctic, but the question is, for how much longer? Emperor penguin colonies living in an area where there was total sea ice loss in 2022 have experienced almost total breeding failure. The study from the British Antarctic Survey, published in Nature Communications, supports predictions that with current warming trends, over 90% of emperor penguin colonies will be all but extinct by the end of the century. Our science editor Rebecca Morell reports. They live in the most remote part of the planet, adapted to survive the harshest conditions. But for emperor penguins, the sea ice that they depend on is vanishing. And this year has seen a record melt, leading to a catastrophic loss of chicks. This is really a sign of things to come. We expect that emperor penguins are going to really suffer with climate change. And this is really poignant because most of these penguins will never have seen a human being in their life. But it's human-induced climate change which is driving their futures and a future which is looking really bleak at the moment. To breed successfully, emperor penguins need nine months of solid sea ice. The chicks are cared for by their parents as they develop and grow. They need to stay on the ice until they replace their fluffy down for waterproof feathers. The problem is the ice is melting much earlier in the season and if the chicks enter the water before they're ready, they don't survive. The red line on this map shows where the sea ice used to reach at the end of Antarctica's summer. 2023 has seen a record low, only the white and light blue areas are ice. This area lost all of its sea ice. Five emperor penguin colonies are located there and four lost all of their chicks. That's an estimated five to 10,000 birds. Out of 66 colonies across the continent, 19 failed either partially or totally to breed. And scientists say if this trend continues, over 90% will be doomed to extinction by the end of this century. This graph shows the area of Antarctica's sea ice as it melts and grows between summer and winter. Each line represents a year and 2023 in red has been far lower than any other. We had a record annual minimum low in February of this year and also what's happening right now so in Antarctic winter as the ice freezes up is that that ice is not freezing as fast as it normally would because it's so far outside what we've observed previously you know we expected change but we don't I didn't I don't think expect change this rapidly and this much. Antarctica's entering into uncharted territory and for emperor penguins, it's leading to losses on an unprecedented scale. Scientists say if we reduce our carbon emissions, we have a chance to save this iconic, unique and beautiful species. They say their future is in our hands. Rebecca Morell, BBC News. Joining us now is Norman Ratcliffe, a seabird analyst from the British Antarctic Survey. Thank you so much for joining us, Norman. The figures are really stark, aren't they? 90%. Just in layman's terms, how do you uh, reach that prediction? How is that figure arrived at? Um, well, the specific observations we've made as, as part of this study is that four out of five of the colonies in the Bellinghausen Sea failed. So that's the first time we've seen a regional loss on this scale. Previously, we've seen isolated events uh, where individual colonies have failed. Um, in terms of looking forward, there's, there's a lot of modelling that predicts what's going to happen to sea ice and how emperor penguins may respond. But this study provides the first empirical evidence that widespread failures can occur. So we could be looking at an example of what a future Antarctic could look like. And just explain why the sea ice levels are so significant and crucial for penguin colonies. Um, yeah, I mean, emperor penguins are almost completely dependent on sea ice as a platform to nest upon. And that has to last until at, le um, an, at least December, early December. Because at that stage, the chicks acquire waterproof plumage and they fledge and they can be self-sufficient. If it breaks up any earlier, those chicks will fall into the water and drown or they drift away on ice flows and they'll starve. So this is a, uh, extensive sea ice losses are a big problem for emperor penguins. And is there anything feasibly that can be done to reverse this? How practical are any steps to change this? Um, emperor penguins, are, they've nested in very re remote locations. So they've never really been exposed to hunting pressures. 
They're not affected by competition or incidental mortality in fisheries. There's very small amounts of tourist disturbance, which is probably insignificant. So the only thing that really impacts on them is climate change. So addressing the climate crisis is the main action that's going to benefit this species. And you obviously are very experienced at, at these sort of uh, surveys and this sort of analysis. How does this compare with what you've come across before? Because to the, you know, the in inexperienced observer, it does seem really dramatic, uh, a warning, doesn't it? Um, to put this in context, in the same region, in the past four years of the five colonies, we only saw one of these types of failure. But in this year, we saw four failures out of five. So um, as far as we know from the satellite records we have, this is fairly unprecedented. Um, so it is it is very concerning. And if it continues, clearly it will um, have big implications for the species persistence in the Bellinghausen region. Well, Norman, thank you for your analysis of that and for explaining how the survey was come about. That's Norman Ratcliffe from the British Antarctic Survey. Thank you.